Hey Capricorns, I'm here to do your general tarot reading. It's general, so if it resonates with you, leave me some comments, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you have. Thank you. Tap the bell, Capricorns, all right? Because you need to know when I go live, when I drop the readings, all right? Follow me on Instagram and shop with me, okay? Capricorns, you choose a happiness. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. So this is Capricorn somewhere in rising placements. Capricorn, okay, getting serious. Okay, not letting nobody play with you. Ten of Cups is at the bottom. Ten of Cups. So I feel like you y'all you starting to choose happiness. And for some of you, I feel like some of y'all starting to see that people don't want you happy genuinely. Okay, with the Queen of Swords, y'all see people like the Queen of Swords is also like intuitive too. Like she can be like you know she can be like they intuitive too. And I feel like y'all know people uh don't want y'all happy like you can you can see like people don't want y'all happy like and for some of you you can see that people like may try to like hold you back okay people may try to hold you back and i see the six of wands so i feel like for some of you the sun is here like you outshine people some of you outshine people the sun and moon is here the sun the moon and the eight of cups so for some of you i feel like you out you outshine people and you just got secret like people that's like secretly just like some people's in a secret competition with you and like some people just like secretly wish you just like go away okay i feel like for some of you some people don't want to some people don't want people to see like your your skills some people don't want you to shine okay they don't want you to shine like you naturally shine the leo energy here pisces energy here so for some of you it could be a leo or a pisces that just like want you out the way okay they want you out the way like you in a way okay and for some of you they just know like this leo or this pisces they just know that they can't manipulate you okay they can't pull the wool over your eyes and they can't stand that about you like they know you witty and you smart okay and for some of you i feel like you got uh you got i feel like there's a person trying to antagonize you because you they know that you don't want um they know that you don't want like basically no smoke like you don't want to have smoke with them like you would rather have peace but i feel like you have a person that just want to like it's like a person that just want to like uh like be in a duel with you okay and with the it's hermit energy, so Virgo, it could also be a Virgo, but Virgo energy, I really feel like somebody really wants to like, like I was saying, dim your shine. Okay. I really feel like it's P it's a person that like they try to talk about like all the negative things you do or try to like down talk you so you feel a certain type of way. It's like they trying to manipulate how you feel. It's like they so it's like they could say like little stuff to um, make you feel a certain type of way. For some of you, I feel like it, some of y'all is highly intuitive. Some of y'all is psychic with the sun and moon. Some of y'all, I feel like it is psychic. Some, some of y'all, I feel like need to pay attention like to your dreams, okay? With the hermit, the sun, the moon, the queen of swords. Some of y'all have to pay attention to your dreams, okay? I feel like your dreams is going to tell you something. Your dreams is going to help you, Okay? The Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So, I feel like um, y'all working on, I feel like you just destined for greatness. I feel like you destined for greatness. And I feel like some of you is like you... Um, it's, it's something that you do. Your work is like some work that you do that and for some of you, you can hide it. I feel like some of you, you can have like a skill that you hide that you just like don't work on. And I really feel like, I feel like I've been saying this to y'all for a while, Capricorn, you have a skill that will bring you his success or could bring you success or a lot of recognition. But I, I feel like y'all is like, um, avoiding like working on it. Okay. It's avoidance going on, okay? The Queen of Cups. So, and I really feel like it's about... Um, so, for some of you, you you could not be just like... Uh, not be in a place right now to like do what it is that you love. 
But I really feel like this Queen of Cups came out. Some of y'all need to, in the Seven of Swords, some of y'all need to put aside time to, uh, to, to work on what you love, okay? Some of y'all need to find time to work on what you love. For some of you, I feel like you you have a person. Some of you, I feel like it could be a baby mother. Like you got a baby mom that's trying to like uh, undermine you and play with you, um, play with you, play with your mental when it comes to like like your your son or your daughter, like your child. Like they playing with your your mental, like your baby mother is like they trying to use like their position to like uh, take advantage of you. Okay. What other messages are there for? Capricorn. Ooh. So the Ace of Swords is in reverse. Okay, and the Queen of Swords is moving. So with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like, and then the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like y'all got a person that is like, it's, I feel like y'all got a person that's trying to get over on y'all, but y'all ain't letting it happen. Like y'all, like y'all, y'all is too, like, I don't know why they think they would be trying to get over on y'all, but y'all got a person that's like really like trying to undermine you. And I feel like it's really, I feel like it's a person, y'all got somebody, uh, Capricorn, that y'all need to be weary of. Cause I feel like it's a person, I feel like. You may think that is one person that don't want you around, but in all actuality, I feel like it's another person, okay? Because it could be, it, I feel like it's more than one person. I feel like you don't, you don't even have an idea of the other person that it is. You know, it's somebody that you don't even, you wouldn't even imagine, okay? The Knight of Wands is at the bottom, so I really feel like for some of you. Some of y'all really need to, I feel like, uh, trust your intuition. I feel like trust your intuition because I really feel like you, it's like, I feel like their subconscious mind is really trying to like give you messages unsuccessfully. I feel like y'all need to pay attention to everything. Pay attention to like animals, um, colors uh conversations i feel like y'all need to tap in it's time for y'all to tap in and pay attention because y'all receiving like a lot of messages this night of wands is here y'all y'all are receiving like a lot of messages and i feel like a lot of them you ignore okay a lot of messages that's trying to come through to you you're not getting them okay so i feel like some of y'all need to just trust your intuition more the queen of pentacles so the Queen of Pentacles is out the deck, and then the King of Pentacles is in reverse. So for some of you, and I feel like the Two of Swords in judgment. So for some of you, you can have a person that is trying to like make you choose between like your uh, baby mom or so uh, your baby mom and like your baby dad or like your baby mom and like your child. Like somebody, I feel like somebody is being. Um, Somebody's being undermining by trying to make like make you make a decision, okay? And I feel like you don't. I feel like a, a decision and you don't that don't need to be made. Like I feel like it's a person that's like kind of low key making you like choose between them and somebody else. The hierophant is here, and then a the high priestess. So, and I feel like the high priestess was like on the ground in reverse. So. I feel like with the high priestess in reverse is definitely like some of y'all need to get in tune spiritually because I feel like for some of you with the hierophant like you look to outside people when it comes to spirituality instead of like trusting your own tuition and having your own type of like sacred relationship with yourself. So I feel like some of y'all need to do that. Have a, a, a sacred relationship with yourself because ultimately you are like the hierophant like you're the hierophant like you are like the the high priestess the the highest person when it comes to like your spirituality that you're supposed to be going to okay not looking to like these uh conscious people or whatever it is they have going on on youtube it's okay but you need to lean on your own spirit wants you to lean on your own intuition right now because like it's it's just time pop up spontaneous un, un, unexpected surprise visit so for some of you i feel like some of y'all have someone that's um trying to like pop up or you could have a person that's like trying to move in with you so pop up spent spontaneous unexpected so some of you could have like an ex 
unexpected visitor coming into your home. And I feel like it went on top of the Ace of Swords that's in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So it's someone, I feel like it's going to be someone, an unexpected guest that you really don't want to deal with that's going to be popping up. Soulmate, similar friendship, romantic partner. So for some of you, I feel like when it comes to soulmate, I feel like, I mean, yeah, when it comes to this, I feel like some of you are in like a, a relationship with like a soulmate. And I feel like for some of you, you think that, um, you could think that it's like, uh, you're supposed to marry this person, but in all actuality, like your soulmate is not necessarily like your, uh, the person that you're supposed to marry. So for some of you, it's just like a soulmate. It's just like y'all similar, similar things going on, but I really feel like that's not like your person. Okay. The King and Queen of Pentacles is here, but one is in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, it's like this person is brought into your life to like, for you to work on yourself, to push you forward. Okay. Um, let me pull a tea leaf for y'all, Capricorn. Let's see what this says. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay, so news of a birth or a new business opportunity. For some of you, I feel like it could be, either, for I feel like it could be either or because the Queen of Cups is here and so is the Hierophant. So for some of you, you're, you could have a new, uh, is new birth coming in. For some of you, it's businesses. Okay. So those are your messages, cats, Capricorns. Leave me some comments. Like, share, and subscribe to the Crohn's Way channel. I'll be back next week with your general tarot.